Now let's look at the impossibility theorems. Write one sentence for a person not familiar with the mathematics of voting and apportionment that summarizes the two impossibility theorems discussed in this chapter. So let's review what those are. We have Belinsky and Young's impossibility theorem, which states, there is no perfect apportionment method. Any apportionment method that does not violate the quota rule must produce paradoxes. And any apportionment method that does not produce paradoxes must violate the qu quota rule. Let's look at the quota rule. A group's apportionment should be either its upper quota or its lower quota. An apportionment method that guarantees that this will occur is said to satisfy the quota rule. We also have another impossibility theorem, and that is called Arrow's impossibility theorem, which states it is mathematically impossible for any democratic voting system to satisfy each of the four fairness criteria. So we end up having now a statement that can be written in relation to this. And we can come up with a statement that perhaps would read something like this. It is impossible to find a voting method that would not violate either fairness criteria or the quota rule, or we could even add on to that or create a paradox.